So I've been experimenting with this more health stacking style of misfortune. Unfortunately, I have to say I don't think Titanic Hydra is really worth it. But um, it was a nice experiment. However, if we go like this, just an early-ish Blade of the Ruined King, the build should be much better. And in this game specifically, we might just try to substitute Edge of Night for the anti-shield item too. Because of their setup. Anyway, let's go. Let's play the level 1. At least let's attempt to. Cassid and body blocking me all the time, huh? Actually, also a health advantage. And, yep, we do get this. Nice. Hello for the misfortunes over on YouTube as well, by the way. Live streaming on Twitch right now. Link in the description. And they should hit the level 2 power spike before we do. Because they have a slight push advantage. But, again, it doesn't matter too much. In all ins, we beat them. Level 6, we should also beat them. Before that, though, I mean, Yumi... <laughs> You mean lane, you know, you know what it is. It's uh, not the most proactive pick. To be a little euphemistic here. <laughs> but yeah, we just chill. Wait for the wave to come. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. Oh no, attacked the wrong minion. Lost 14 gold. Okay, level 2 as well. Yeah, they had level 2 advantage, so we need to wait until the wave resets here. Good. What are they doing? Actually, we slow push. They can't really do much with that roam, and they just lose farm. Yeah. They return all by themselves. Okay. Lulu Kog'Maw, obviously very scary. Also, the reason I want anti-shield, plus they have Yone with shield bow most likely. So yeah, we just want to counteract that. Actually, do we even want shield bow ourselves? Now that we don't go Hydra anymore? Maybe we just go Eclipse. I wouldn't mind, actually. But yeah, we need to play this carefully. With a Yumi, it's always so awkward in lane. You can't really be too aggressive, or else you just get punished for Yumi's bad early. And Kog'Maw's early is actually not that bad. Hmm. Try to get a bounce onto him. Ultimately, it doesn't matter, though. The thing is, we can't be proactive early. But we also get outscaled late by Lulu Cog, so this lane is super awkward. All in all. Lulu's getting low, however. Yeah, we are pretty much even in farm. Not sure if this gank is happening, though. Wait for Kog'Maw's W to... Okay, fiddle is right here. Couldn't really do much. Wow, it even worked. Crazy. And Kane should die too. Nice. Oh, that's so good. And actually, screw shield bow. This crit is just messing up my last hits anyway. I'll go uh, Eclipse, Serpent's Fang, Cleaver. 
I've made up my mind. The extra health from Cleaver should make up for the lost health and shield from Shield Bow. Yeah. I like the idea. Let's try it. Gives us a very strong early game, actually. Very good ulties, too. Plus, if we go Blade, or we go Blade of the Ruined King later on, so the two hits from Eclipse speed us up to stay in range for the three hits from um, Blade. So it should go very smoothly in terms of trading patterns. Alright, she got healing reduction. On the other hand, Shield Bow is some attack speed, which is also quite nice. Ah, oh, no. I, I'll try Eclipse. I'll try Eclipse. I made up my mind. Careful. Damage is damage. Even if most of it got blocked by her shield. Oh. I did not see that one coming. Get away with this. Well, he dies, but they still get the dragon, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I should have I should have checked. Don't have much mana left, so I just do this to get the wave under tower. Let's see. If he ults me, this is definitely worth it. This one. Okay, can't do that. Don't have mana left to kill this wave, but uh, okay, now I have W. Good enough. We get a nice base here. <clears throat> Get to finish Eclipse and uh, work towards Serpents. We could just finish Serpents right away, actually. No, I guess Eclipse is always better. And yeah, Yone definitely working towards his shield bow. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. At three items, Kane should not be able to one-shot reliably. Let's just be careful with our formulations here. <laughs> oh yeah, we can just out-pressure them with our ER combos. With Emax plus Eclipse. Don't want to overcommit in their wave, of course. not what I like to see. Double kill for blue cane. Cogma mid lane, okay. They're all dead. Still ahead though, but um, again, it's getting scary. Huge damage on Kogma. Okay, if they woke up now, I kill them. 
We'll see. Well, they have no incentive. They should base always, so we just clear the wave. Yeah. We base as well. I can get Duck plus Dagger. Because this builds out of, uh, you know, pickaxe, so we can't go for a component there. But yeah, just Eclipse Dagger is <laughs> so strong for all ins. E plus R is gonna slap. Also, a nice part about Cleaver is 30 ability haste. Gives us very consistent access to our ultimates. Miss. Kane is here, but Fiddle is there for the counter gank. We'll see what happens. Oh, Yone is coming too. Let's play this carefully. <clears throat> they want to make something happen bot lane for dragon purposes, of course. Yeah, they're all missing. Fiddle should approach. Yep. Goes into this bush. Okay. Now, hopefully they're not trying to sneak it, because else they... M okay, we saw him. Nice. Oh, Drake now. Yeah. Take one more wave than base. I would say. Okay, casted in 0-4, but he has good late game nonetheless. Jax 0-3, also good late game nonetheless, and he is getting fed. <laughs> uh, interesting game though. For sure. Oh, come on. We can't just let them run wild in our jungle. What can we do here? Not much, really. No ultimates ready, so I can't kill her there. Kane's coming. It's post minute 12, though, so we have good resistances. Kane's not reducing our armor to zero yet. I have ult again, so if they make a mistake, I can kill. But Kane is still nearby, isn't he? Oh no, he isn't. Okay, good to know. Full of flash. 
And we get the shutdown on Kane. Okay, so it's fine. Good. Jax failed his stun. Giving us a huge opening. Yeah, we're about to finish Serpent's Fang. Ooh. Clean. Nice. Alright. We get a good base here. Get Serpent's Fang, get uh, Cleaver components. Yeah, we're looking strong. Hmm, so in this game, I think, yeah, actually, I'm just thinking about how we finish the build. So, after Cleaver, we go Bork, but then we go um, Chainsword. Because they have a lot of life steal in here and here, also Cogmo and his runes. I would I would I would assume. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Works like a charm. And this Serpent's Fang is so good against Lulu. Okay. Polymorph is very good against me. <laughs> Have to admit. Got a little too excited there. I need to go for short bursty traits against Kog'Maw. The longer it takes, the worse, because Lulu buffs plus lethal tempo and everything. You know. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, that death was very unnecessary. Not really what I am supposed to do. Drake in 20. Cassidy takes this. Alright, let me just path towards Drake. Fine by me. 10 seconds. Fettle has a control ward too, so this should be fine. Kog'Maw ult still kills me. I would have survived Kane's burst, but Kog'Maw on top of that is too much. I maybe could have flashed, but I didn't really think I would need it. <laughs> now I know better. Oh, Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Oh. This, is still be this is still fine, potentially, but... Uh, okay, no, it's not. We can't take Dragon here. Even though their jungler is dead, we're outnumbered, and I'm not there yet. Did I just take it? Really? Wow. Okay, that was very rough. Not sure how I could have played this better. That was probably a way, but uh, I didn't see it. Maybe being more patient with my ulti. In any case, two drakes for them. Quite rough. Should have won this fight, man. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. In any case, as soon as we hit that cleaver, uh, Kane's damage shouldn't be as threatening anymore. Yeah, without the shield bow, you are prone to getting one shots still against assassins, especially against nine kills blue Kane. 
But hopefully Cleaver changes the stats. Let him take this, we just take this one. Top lane tower is a good target. For sure. Good value, 650 already. Okay, I take mid lane tower here. Actually not worth for us. That herald. I better path safely because of Kane. All right, that works. They're pushing. Yeah, we need to stop that. Giving them one mid lane tower is bad enough. Anyway, late game should be nice. This build scales well, Cassidy scales well. Jax and Kogma and Lulu, yeah, it's uh, it's ugly, but it's not like we auto lose late game. We should still be fine. I'll just hover around here, just in case they jump on them. I'm there. Okay, no. Yeah, I'll be right there with them. Just in case. Okay, I can buy another component. They can't stick around here. They don't want me. Not sure what they're trying to do. And now this wave, it's, uh, it's pretty much stuck in the middle. Okay, now they're pushing mid lane, I can farm this without putting myself at risk. At least not too big of a risk. Okay. I still die. <laughs> Wow. I thought there's no way. But I'm so used to having shield bow, I guess that's my mistake there. I got baited. Oh, fiddle. Okay, still kind of works. Yeah. Just needed a lot of cooldowns. Flash, plus mythic, plus ulti. They're fine, right? Perfect. Drake spawning. Let's take that. So yeah, um, we not only lost the health from shield, but we also lost the health from Edge of Night. So I need to play way safer than last game. Yeah, with Edge of Night, this build will be way better. Just um, Eclipse into Edge of Night. Serpent's Fang is very good in this matchup, but we have to play accordingly. We can't face tank their assassins. It's just not working. At least not yet. With Cle uh, with Cleaver, maybe. Even with Cleaver, face tanking is, uh, is a strong word. <laughs> Kane's dead, so we should be fine. We also see Yone. Okay, if Jax is there, I don't want to be there. And Jax might be there. Let's get our cleaver and work towards blade. Alright. 2.1k health. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
certainly fine. And Cleaver has a very good combo with Misfortune's ultimate. Okay. It still works out because they should both die. <laughs> but it still feels bad too. Cassidy is still kind of struggling to get his foot into the game. Hmm. Kogmo going wild. Yeah, Cassidy does too little in that fight. Well, we got some pressure bot lane for this, but it's not not worth. They got the better end of that deal. This Kogmo starting to get fed. Super scary. Okay, Camille wants these, and I take this. Cassidy is level 14 at least, so I mean he will scale. I think it's level 16. Then he should be able to take over the game, theoretically. <laughs> okay, Cassidy can take top lane farm. He's ridiculously strong, oh my lord. Didn't even live for like, yeah, for like, didn't even live for two seconds as soon as he started attacking me. <laughs> I expected him to be fed, but not that fed. <laughs> I expected myself to be squishy, but not that squishy. Well, wow, this just started. It's four to four with our jungler being alive. That's so risky of them. Let's just hope we're there in time. Yeah. That's exactly why they shouldn't be doing this. Because Fiddle just steals. Anyway, if you all die now, then that's still quite bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Drake for them. At least it's just a third. And at least I should be able to protect this tower. Fair enough. Yeah, Serpent's Fang value is nice, but Edge of Night would go a long way here. I guess without Edge of Night, it's too squishy. Just Eclipse, Edge of Night, Cleaver is better. Or Shield Bow, Serpent's Cleaver. But not Eclipse, Serpent's, that's too squishy. Had I exhausted Yone instead of Jax? Maybe. Huh. That was a tough fight to navigate.
Gale Force also makes it somewhat difficult to ult Kog'Maw. We need to wait out his Gale Force before we do this. Or just hope for... Or wait for Fiddlesticks Fears. Rank 3 ultimate now. Oh, please. Barely not. Anyway, we have enough haste that it doesn't really, truly matter. It's 50 seconds until we get ult back. Yeah, Fiddle 6 is just <laughs> getting kills left and right. Top lane is such a huge wave. I should have gone there. Okay, Camille teleport, so it's not as bad. It's all fine. Kog'Maw almost full build. Fifteen seconds for ulti. My team is looking for a pick, but at the same time, it's a good opportunity to just base and get my item. Alright, so yeah, last item, Kempunk Chainsword. I won't mind getting some heating. Actually, Yumi has Putrefire. Is that enough, though? Might be. Edge of Night also looking good still. Oh, no. Kassad is level 16. He should start to do something soon, right? Top lane tower. Yeah, sure. We're actually going hyper late game. <laughs> Please cast it and tell me you know how to play. Forty-five until dragon. If they get soul, we're in big trouble. Or also in big trouble because they just collapse. But Fiddle gets a beautiful ultimate. <sighs> okay, this is a this is a big blunder by them. Yeah, I take I take this death. Okay, Cassidy. Okay, you got it, my friend. <laughs> wow. I have so little agency this game, I feel more like a caster than a player. <laughs> Just acting as one-shot fodder. Yeah, I, I mean, 1.7k value from Serpent's Fang, it's huge. But I think I would have had more fun this game had I just gone for Edge of Knights. For sure. Yeah, we finish here. We should have time. Yeah, Fiddle 6 carried so hard. Again, we were just one-shot fodder. I think a build like this is possible and viable, but if you drop Shield Bow 2, then you have to go Edge of Night's second, kind of. With the, with the other one, you go um, Bloodthirst, a third, for the extra lifesteal and shield, which also adds to your tankiness, and Shield Bow. 
So um, you're fine there. But if you have shield bow, if, if you s swap shield bow for eclipse, yeah, it's uh, it's very complicated. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But this this rune page, this rune page is just the key to everything, pretty much. If you want to see more of this build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.